Bleak House, a novel published in 1852 by Charles Dickens, weaves a complex tale of inheritance, the inefficiencies of the legal system, and the varied human experiences of love, loss, and redemption. The narrative centers on the long-running court case Jarndyce and Jarndyces, a dispute over a will that has dragged on for generations in the court of chancery, consuming the fortunes and lives of those involved. It symbolizes the corruption and incomprehensibility of the Victorian legal system. John Jarndyce is the current plaintiff and a benevolent landlord. He becomes guardian to two young wards of court, Ada Clare and Richard Carstone, as well as a third young woman, Esther Summerson, whose parentage is unknown. Esther Summerson is the novel's moral center and one of its narrators. Raised by a cold and distant godmother, she learns on her godmother's death that she will be taken into the care of Mr. Jarndyce. At Bleak House, the Jarndyce estate, Esther finds a home and is educated along with Ada, with whom she forms a sisterly bond. Richard, another young ward, oscillates between careers, unable to settle on a path due to his obsession with the potential wealth he might gain from the lawsuit. As the novel progresses, numerous subplots and characters are introduced, including Lady Dedlock, the beautiful but emotionally restrained wife of Sir Lester Dedlock. Lady Dedlock harbors a secret past. She gave birth to an illegitimate daughter who is none other than Esther Summerson. Furthermore, Lady Dedlock's anonymity is at risk when lawyer Tulkinghorn discovers her secret after recognizing her handwriting on a legal document connected to the Jarndyce case. Tulkinghorn's quest to exploit Lady Dedlock's secret leads to his murder, which forms a significant subplot involving an intense investigation. Various individuals are suspected, but the true murderer is discovered to be Hortons, Lady Dedlock's vengeful former maid. Before Tulkinghorn's death, Lady Dedlock confesses to Esther, revealing their relationship and expressing a desire for Esther's happiness. Another significant character, Joe, is a poor street sweeper who unwittingly holds clues to the Dedlock secret. Harassed by the law and swept along by an uncaring society, Joe also succumbs to illness, symbolizing the plight of the underprivileged in Dickens' London. Throughout the narrative, Dickens crafts rich, often satirical portraits of various characters. The philanthropist Mrs. Jellybee, who neglects her family to focus on distant charitable causes. Mr. Skimpole, a man-child who manipulates others and shirks financial responsibility. The shrewd detective Mr. Bucket, and the obsessive Mr. Gridley and Miss Flight, both consumed by chancery. Richard, advised by the unscrupulous lawyer Holes, continues to pursue the Jarndyce and Jarndyce case, draining his health and resources. His fixation on the potential inheritance ruins his career prospects and strains his relationship with Ada, whom he has married in secret. Ultimately, the case concludes abruptly when it is discovered that the legal costs have devoured the entire estate, leaving nothing for the beneficiaries. Mr. Jarndyce, foreseeing the negative outcome of the lawsuit, had acquired a separate smaller estate called Bleak House and had always intended it for Ada and Richard's future support. However, by the time the lawsuit ends, Richard's health has deteriorated irreparably from the stress, and he dies shortly after learning that his pursuit was futile. In the meantime, Lady Dedlock, who has become the object of public scandal and is pursued by Mr. Bucket following Tulkinghorn's murder, flees in despair. She ultimately dies alone and remorseful by her lover's grave. Captain Hawden, also known as Nemo, who was a law writer and the supposed origin of the disputed will. Esther, who has grown to love her mother, despite the secrecy surrounding her birth, is left heartbroken. Contrarily, Esther finds happiness in her romantic life. While she harbors affection for her guardian, John Jarndyce, she falls in love with Alan Woodcourt, a kind-hearted doctor who shares her values. Mr. Jarndyce, noting the attachment between Esther and Alan and wanting only her happiness, graciously steps aside. He encourages their marriage, renouncing any implied engagement between himself and Esther. Esther and Alan marry, and they are given the small bleak house as a gesture of Mr. Jarndyce's generosity. The novel concludes with Esther reflecting on her contented life. Despite the scars, both literal and figurative, as she bears the marks of smallpox contracted from caring for the ill Joe, she is surrounded by love and a growing family. The malign influence of chancery has ended with the resolution of Jarndyce and Jarndyce, 
and the positive forces of love, altruism, and moral strength are reaffirmed through Esther's narrative. Bleak House is thus a complex tapestry of intersecting lives, societal critique, and moral vision. Dickens exposes the failings of the legal system and the arbitrary nature of social standing, while also conveying a message of personal resilience and the transformative power of compassion.